Hey people, hey everyone guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video I will tell you uh, how you can build a website on the Ugit platform. So here you can create a landing pages and multi-page sites, uh, whatever you want. It depends of course on your needs and what you would like to create in your uh, website or a landing page. So check this video till the end and as always I'm waiting for your uh, feedback, I'm waiting for your comments, likes and all the useful links will be in the description. So check this video till the end and let's get on to our work. Um, first of all, what is actually your kit? Because it's recently new uh, website builder uh, which is used to launch and manage small businesses websites and other types of projects for personal and commercial use. So this system has gained worldwide popularity due to its amazing simplicity that does not compromise with quality and professional web design approach. So this is an indispensable solution for new buyers and web design pros willing to establish professional web presence for businesses. Yep. So this website builder will work great for all representatives of small and medium businesses who lack web design experience and don't wish to pay enormous sums of money to web studios. So basically, you don't have to master programming basics to work with uh, your kit because the system is very simple, user-friendly, flexible, and it completes around 70% of work on its own. So there are no layout designs, style charts, Photoshop, and other daily issues most web developers encounter here. Yep, and frequent updates make the service more convenient and functional. From how it's getting started, yeah, but before you actually proceed to the website development process, you need to sign up for the platform, of course, yeah. Fortunately, the website builder provides easy, fast, and hassle-free registration procedure, so it's possible to choose from two sign-up options here. The first one implies to use of your social account, which is Facebook, Google, or LinkedIn, yeah. If you already have the one, yep. And the section, uh, the, the second registration option is to fill out the sign-up form, providing your email password info. And of course, upon the completion of this step, you will be offered to confirm the registration by activating the link available in the email. And right after that, you will be redirected to the template selection page to pick one of the designs listed just right here. Yep. Likewise, you will have an opportunity to create a temporary domain name here. And after you will work with the editor. So this is the algorithm how you will work right here on the Ugit platform. Uh, as you see, I've registered an account and actually here we have uh, a template. Uh, here we have a huge variety of templates, it depends on. Uh, you may have the best one, the new, one page or general, yep. Or uh, if you would like to find something in, which uh, is uh, in this specific area, so you may play around with all this stuff. For example, let it be a fashion model, we have two templates right here. Or uh, even flatting, yeah, we have many templates. And by the way, this is cool one, yeah, for nature, yeah, we have many templates. So, of course, it depends on uh, what template, what theme. Uh, what sphere you would like to uh, make. Yep. Let's start from the preview from this one as usual. Uh, I mean the preview as usual. So actually we can check that here we have many sections. Yep. Uh, one, two, three, four, uh, five. We have five sections. We have the menu. Uh, social accounts, uh, you have icons, and by the way, we may uh, play around with, uh, I would say, um, with color palette. Yeah, for, for me, uh, to be honest, blue one is cool because we have uh, right here blue candies, yes, uh, and it's pretty cool. Uh, by the way, uh, here we have um, actually uh, the responsive. Uh, web uh, design, the adaptive design uh, for uh, devices such as tablet and of course uh, for smartphone devices. It has two modes as you can check, yep, horizontal and vertical mode. 
So uh, right here you may see how it will look like in the future. Yep, how will uh, your template with your design will look in the future. So clicking directly to choose design. The next step, you need to put a domain name, but it's optional to be honest. Right here, a domain name puts randomly but uh, I prefer to do this as uh, I would say as a dessert. Yep, uh, as the last step. So right now I will pass it because it's not so important. Yep. Um, and you may ask me what is good for. Yep. Uh, I can say the UKIT is contemporary, convenient, and simple website builder which uh, targets small and mid-sized business owners. So its feature set is good it's strong enough to come up to the needs of each user who has an intention to start and effectively manage professional projects so um uh what matters most is that the website builder does not require any coding and web design skills to run quality projects so everyone can master its intuitive visual interface to be able to design projects out of ready-made widgets and content blocks so the website builder comes with an extensive collection of responsive, fully customizable designs tailor-made for specific commercial and non-commercial needs. So due to the integrated drag-and-drop functionality, it's possible to start projects from complexity level without any coding proficiency at all. So these are only some of the most obvious reasons why the platform enjoys popularity with entrepreneurs, creatives, students, artists, designers, photographers, tattoos artists, stylists, and other users. And right now let's take a look at the platform. So basically here we have uh, our sections. So here, yeah, we have content blocks. Blocks and sections, these are uh, the same words, yeah, with the same meaning. Uh, and um, just let's take a look at this panel because here we have four main tools for modes. Uh, and the first one is site pages. Um, it's very simple. Uh, site pages is responsible for the pages. Yeah, so you can add pages. Yeah, you may change the position between these pages. So basically, due to this mode, a user can complete various actions with website pages. I mean, add new ones, uh, remove the existing ones, uh, change the order of the pages in the menu, edit web pages, uh, pages content, duplicate, fill out meta tags, rename them, for example. Yep. So um, basically, all the elements you add to the web pages can be additionally set up. You can change inner block composition, choose visual design options, the number and format of displayed elements, even a background. Yep. Uh, talking about, uh, I would say, um, a builder, uh, we have it right here. Um, actually, builder is separated into two parts, into blocks and into widgets. So blocks, it means that you may add uh, some blocks uh, if you think that it's uh, convenient uh, and it's necessary. The next one, you may play around with the widgets. It means that you may add the gallery just right here. Yep. So how do you work right here? You simply drag any elements uh, to uh, to the block uh, that you think that it's important and basically that's how it works so actually um i would say uh the editor uh it's drag and drop website builder uh editor yep and it uses the major website editing methods yep um this method uh, allows users to complete the major actions with the website elements blocks uh, by adding, removing, changing, or repositioning them, and if it clicks only, yeah, the results of your actions uh, are immediately displayed in the online mode. So, you right here will work uh, with the widgets. So, right here, the widgets, um, we have basic widgets, structure widgets, uh, content. So, actually, what are the widgets? These are the elements, uh, I would say these are functional elements which you need to add to the website page by simply dragging, yep. And there are many of them including uh, product, um, cost calculator, news widget, timeline, and other, yep, all these things. And you can also use uh, ready-made blocks, uh, combinations required to complete a certain function such as feeder, footer, specification, 
uh, products, contacts, portfolios, and others. So basically, that's how it works. The next one is design mode. So basically, you work right here with the color scheme. You may create your personal one color scheme. You may change the side background, or color, change color, or add a the image. Yep, and play around with the font. And for me, it's very convenient because while you're playing around with the font, yep. Um, the font is changing in the whole composition of a website, not only in one section. So basically, design mode lets you uh, lets you change your website design by uh, choosing the color scheme, the background of a website. You can use a simply color palette and upload image and even Google Maps as a background. Yep. So additionally, uh, it's really cool to work uh, with uh, uh, these things. And by the way, right here, additionally, you have the opportunity to upload, um, I would say, uh, some pictures. Yeah, but you have right here, you could uh, stock. So if you like, if you don't have your personal images of your products or you would like to use in this uh, website, uh, so you may download them uh, they are not for free but uh, you have this opportunity to uh, do this and actually the last one adapted side version so basically you may play around once again with the tablet uh, side version yep you may hide some um, things yep uh, and of course in mobile version that's how it looks like so using that basic bottom you would like to hide you uh, hide it so to sum up all the things uh, I can say that you can this is one of the best visual editors in this area, yeah? All the steps here can be completed with a few clicks only. It's very impressive, it's user-friendly, it's flexible. So it's possible to start a ready-made website in one hour only by simply dragging the elements from the control panel to website pages as well as by creating, adjusting content block positions. And in the prevailing amount of cases, you will just have to add the new content provided by default, customized colors, fonts, layout, background, all that things that I uh, was telling you a few minutes later. Yep. So basically all the elements you can pick and add to the page have detailed settings. It's possible to choose separate design options and add it block content for many of them. Likewise, you can set block structure and background for each block. If you wish to add images for galleries and fonts, you don't need to um, to make a portfolio to, if you don't have your, for example, pictures, you may buy them in a stock, you get stock. Um, what I can say, uh, the major benefit of the website builder is that any person can avail decent result when working with it. So this can be compared to the work of a professional web designer, of course. And talking about a key point, um, advantages of, uh, I would say, UKIT service, UKIT platform, is that um, it's very simple for new buys and web design, uh, plus no coding skills are required, multiple responsive industry uh, specific templates, a drag and drop editor, exceptional simplicity and convenience, a simple block and widget customization, e-commerce engine is also included, uh, and intuitive dashboard. So for me, uh, uh, these are key points why I decided to create um, this video episode, this observing video, to show you all how, how it works actually. Yep. So um, this is, I would say, the end of uh, this tutorial observing video episode. As always, I'm waiting for your likes, I'm waiting for your shares, uh, and actually, I'm waiting for your feedback, to be honest. Uh, have you tested your kid earlier or not? Or if you actually will uh, practice with YouKid service after watching this video episode, please write me feedback, maybe on email or um, in, I would say, in comments, because I'm waiting, um, I'm waiting for your response. And uh, write me, please, uh, what's um, the name uh, of your favorite website builder, and maybe the next video I will create a new 
tutorial to review a video about your um, service which you about your favorite service or actually the service which you have uh, recently uh, uh, used. So uh, I wish you good luck, good vibes, good mood with you kid, with my YouTube channel and I guess that we will see each other in another video episode. Thank you for your attention. I really do hope that my videos are useful for you and me as well. Uh, see ya and bye.